just a normal fountain. Mm -hmm. Now I know that there's times when there are magical things that happen when you look inside a fountain. So I'd like for you to get close to that fountain and look inside the water. And I'd like for you to see a reflection in the water. And that reflection will show something very interesting there. Go deep, deep into that water and begin to see the vision. What's the first thing that you notice inside that fountain? Hmm. What comes to mind? I see a woman. I see a woman. Very good. What does she look like? She's like a <clears throat> underwater fairy. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to get even closer. And describe this fairy for me. Mm -hmm. She's very fluid. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? I see her body, mm -hmm. but I don't see a face. Mm -hmm. She's more like energy. More like energy. Very good. Mm. So I'd like for you to get closer to her. Mm. Allow yourself to just begin to merge into her world. Allow your energy to just flow into her world. And as you begin to flow, you will notice things around you. What do you experience? I'm in water. I'm in water. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this water. I'm underwater. Mm -hmm. And it's very silent. Mm -hmm. How does that feel to be in the silent water? It feels very soothing. Mm -hmm. Very calm. So I'd like for you to take this calmness in. Allow this moment to just filter into every cell of your body, reminding you of this peaceful calm. Just take it in. How does that feel? I needed that. Mm -hmm. Take as much as you need. What happens next? Look around you. Are you alone or with others in this water? I don't see anyone. Mm -hmm. It's just me mm -hmm. and the water. So as you're in this water now, I'd like for you to focus on the being that you are in that water. Take a look at your feet. What do they look like in this water? I don't think I have feet. Mm -hmm. What do you have? It's like a tail. A tail? I'm blue. A blue tail. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more. <clears throat> I think I have long hair. Mm -hmm. Very what, wavy. What color is that I'm hair? all blue. You're all blue? I'm all blue. Including your hair? Everything, my <laughs> whole body. Mm hmm. Like a mermaid. Mm hmm, a mermaid. Mm hmm. Like crystal clear blue, like really beautiful. Mm hmm. What does your face look like? I think I'm pretty. Mm hmm. Like human. Like a human face? Human face. Mm hmm. What about your hands? Pull out your hands and see what they look like. 
their normal hands. Mm-hmm. And what color are those hands? They're blue, like my body. Mm-hmm. Very good. So I could imagine that with that tail, you'll be able to swim very mm. nicely through that water. Yeah. So allow yourself to go to the place where you normally go to enjoy your, your time there. What do you do? Mm. Mm. Describe it for me. I see a shore. I see a shore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With stones and there is green. Are you in the water outside? I'm in the water. Mm-hmm. Looking out. How far is the shore away from you? I'm on it. Mm-hmm. I can come out if I want to. What do you do on the shore when you come out? Hmm. It's just beautiful and peaceful. Mm-hmm. Do you I like watching the nature. You like watching the nature. Mm. Do you see any nature while you're there? Yes, there is um, rocks and stones and trees and it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's different than the water. Mm -hmm. So as you're there looking at this beautiful nature, I want you to focus on how you feel just being there with nothing to do but just enjoying nature. It feels relaxing. Mm -hmm. Just relax into that feeling. Allow this moment in time to just resonate with all of your cells, reminding them of what it's like to be in nature, just being. How does that feel? It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very calming. Yes. And now we want to know a little bit about your life in the water. Let's find out if there's a particular place where there are others like you there. Let's close this scene and we're going to now move to the scene in a place where there are others like you. Be there now. What do you experience? I see others swimming mm -hmm. deep on the water. They are circling, playing. Mm -hmm. They're like me. Are they older than you or younger than you? What do you feel? There are different ones. There are male and female and mm -hmm. children. Yes. How old do you feel that you are? Hmm. Maybe in my 30s. Mm -hmm. Very good. And let's see if you have any family or friends there. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to explore all of your surroundings and see if there's a particular place where you meet up with family and friends. I think there are like caves under the water. Mm -hmm. So let's go there and tell me what they're like. They're very basic, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like a shelter, you know, where you can go in. Mm -hmm. There are many ones under the water. Mm -hmm. Now these caves, are they in the water? Yes. Or do they have parts of the caves that don't have water? No, everything is submerged in water. Okay. It's under, mm -hmm. deep under. Very good. Is this where you spend time in these caves? Yeah, it's like a resting place. Mm -hmm. 
where we get together. Good. Is there anything else interesting that you see? Mm. Describe mm. everything you see around you. Mm. It's thinking if there are like tunnels that lead to somewhere mm-hmm. so let's find out what these tunnels are take mm-hmm. me on this journey with you describe what you see uh, guess I can swim in and see where it takes me mm-hmm. so as you're swimming just describe what you see along the way it's, it's a closed space mm-hmm. with water and it's like a tunnel and the water is light green and huh, I'm swimming in and I want to see where it takes me. Mm-hmm. Let's find out where it goes. Hmm. Hmm. Where is it going? The big ocean. A big ocean. Hmm. What do you see there? It's just water. Mm-hmm. A lot of water. Is it more than where you were before? It's you can't see the end. Mm-hmm. There's no land, it's just water. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Huh. Do I feel calm? Mm-hmm. It's uh, very quiet. It feels like home. Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there anything in that ocean with you? No, I don't see anything else. Okay, very good. So now we're going to close this scene and move forward to another important scene in that same lifetime when something is happening, something that impacts your life. So take a deep breath in now. One, two, and three. Be there now. Where are you? I think there are people there. I think there are people. Where do you see these people? I'm in the water and looking out. Mm -hmm. And where are they? They're out on the shore. Mm -hmm. I think they saw me. How does that make you feel? I think... I don't know. I'm curious about them. Mm -hmm. What do they look like, these these people? They're just a group of men. Mm Mm-hmm. But I think they're more curious about me. (laughs) Mm -hmm. They don't know what I am. And they're just looking, trying to figure out. Mm -hmm. How were these men dressed? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Like pants and shirts. Mm -hmm. A small group. Maybe five, six men. Okay. Hmm. What happens next? Hmm. I... I look at them and... I decide to go. Mm Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I think they will be afraid of me if they saw me. Mm -hmm. With my body, because it's different than theirs. Hmm. So as you leave these, the scene, what are you left with? 
What feelings has this brought on? I'm fascinated that there is a world out there mm -hmm. that is not in the water mm -hmm. and that there are beings walking there. Mm -hmm. We're so close but yet so far apart. Yes. And I wonder how do they live? Mm -hmm. Who are. they are. Mm -hmm. I wish I could be there for a while to see how it is, but I can't leave the water. So let's see what happens next. I'd like for you to close this scene and move forward to a another significant scene in that same life when something does happen. Be there now. I think I'm giving birth. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I have a child. What does your child look like? Mm, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she has blonde hair. Mm -hmm. But she looks like me. Mm -hmm. She has a tail. What color is she? She's. Strange. She looks a bit <laughs> like a human, mm -hmm. like white color, hmm. like human skin, but with a tail and blonde hair. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, who is her father? Hmm. Does she have one? That's what I wonder. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to now count from three back to one. When I get to number one, I'm going to tap your forehead and you'll be able to see who the father was. Three, two, and one. Who is the father? I think he's a human man. Mm -hmm. So allow the story to unfold. And let's see how you meet this human man. I think he was on the shore mm -hmm. when I came out. He was not afraid to come close. Mm -hmm. What happened next? We started talking to each other and got to know each other and we like one another. What happens mm. next? Mm. I think we're in love. Mm -hmm. But it's a love that cannot be. Take a look at this human's eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Have you met this human before? Does he seem familiar? I think... I think he's Daniel. Mm -hmm. So connect with him and understand why it is that you are together, this human and this mermaid. Hmm. We... don't care what the others think around us. Mm -hmm. We just follow our hearts. Mm -hmm. So feel those feelings of being with him, this human. It's <clears throat> I'm 
beautiful, but in the same time, we both know that we cannot be together. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because I have my world, mm-hmm. and he has his. Yes. I cannot walk on his land, and he cannot come into my world. Mm-hmm. So what do you decide? We just decide to enjoy the moment mm-hmm. and not worry too much about the future. Very good. Those are good words of advice, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. So let's close this scene now. Allow yourself to just move forward in time and space to the next significant event in that lifetime. Be there now. I think I'm very old. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I'm deep under mm-hmm. in my world. I think I'm going to go soon. All right. So I'd like for you to go to the place where you take your last breath. Where is this place? It's in the caves under. Mm -hmm. I have the others, the ones that are the same like me around. And my girl, who is now a woman. Mm -hmm. And this place where you are, to take your last breath, where is it? Is it out in the open or in a cave? No, we're in the cave. In the cave. Deep under the water. Mm -hmm. How many do you see around you? Probably ten. Very good. And these are all friends and family? Yeah, they mm. care for me. Mm-hmm. They, they love me. We know each other. Very good. So I'd like for you now to take your last breath in that lifetime, allowing yourself to be free of that body. Allow the spirit to be released. And as you float away from that body, you'll understand the purpose and the lessons of that lifetime. What was the purpose of living that lifetime as this mermaid? I feel it was about love. Mm -hmm. What did you need to learn? Love is beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful life. And it doesn't matter how it happened. So, it's important to experience love Mm -hmm. and appreciate it no matter what shape or form. Mm-hmm. Very good. And what lessons did you take from that lifetime? Mm-hmm. I think I was still very sad. Mm-hmm. Good, so I'd like for you to detach even further from that life. And as you look at the lifetime of that mermaid, how are you affecting the life now of Nicoletta? Mm. Mm. She cannot deal with it. Mm -hmm. She cannot accept that love can't just be. Mm-hmm. 
Why is that? She always wants to love and be loved. Mm -hmm. Is she looking for love in the wrong places? Yeah, I guess. Because mm -hmm. she doesn't realize that she carries all the love within her. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to look to anyone to give her love or she to give to others because she is love. Mm -hmm. And when she realizes that she is love, how will that change her life? She'll be able to love without attachment. Mm. Very good. So now let's find out a little bit more. Let's go even deeper. She saw herself with someone who was a human, who was different than she was. I would like to know a little bit more about that, about all of the different things that she needs to know. Why is she here, for example? in this incarnation. Hmm. Why did she come here? She has to learn that lesson about love. Hmm. Is that the main one? One of many, but that's, that's one she really needs to understand and let go of. Mm -hmm. She's very sad right now about love. Hmm. Why did she have to go through this experience? Mm. It's good for her. Mm. She has to learn. If she doesn't live through it, mm -hmm. she will never know. And she's learning a lot now from that experience. Mm -hmm. It has really changed her. How have these life changes helped say, change her? Hmm. She now knows that she has power within. Hmm. Is she using this power? Hmm. Not, that she, not as she should. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So how should she be using this power? She should really look within mm -hmm. and know who she is. Mm -hmm. Has she been giving away her power to others? Mm -hmm. She's too loving. Mm -hmm. She she gives too much of herself. Mm -hmm. What does that do to her own power? It's weakening her. She cannot give and give and give. She needs to know when she can give it. Mm -hmm. But that's who she is. Mm -hmm. Does she need to set up some boundaries? She's learning that now. Mm -hmm. She's learning that now. She knows this can't go on like that. Mm -hmm. well, she seems to talk about abundance. Mm -hmm. That right now she's at a deficit. Is that what her whole life is all about right now? Mm, She's yeah. given up too much? <laughs> mm. No. She... She can give love. Mm -hmm. But 
she needs to focus on herself mm -hmm. understand herself better who she is mm -hmm. what can she give to others mm. how to how to be more mm. how can I put it Mm. Mm. It's beautiful to feel love, but it's important to maintain your identity, mm -hmm. not lose yourself with another. So has she lost herself in the past? In a sense. Mm -hmm. She neglected her needs and wants and mm -hmm. desires and put others first mm -hmm. so what do you recommend now starting all over again mm. from from the start mm. think <clears throat> Think of herself first. Mm -hmm. Put herself first. Because she needs to experience things herself and make her own decisions and live life her own way. Not following the shadow of others. Is she doing that now? She will be. Okay. Now. Why has she been put on hold mm. at this time? She has to pull herself together. Mm. Mm. She has come out of balance. Mm -hmm. So this pause is a necessary pause in her yes. life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Should she be doing anything to kick start it again? Or will that happen mm -hmm. naturally? That will happen when she's ready. Okay. So, what should she be doing now, in the time being? Mm -hmm. Right now, she's rebalancing. Mm -hmm. She's finding her own power. Mm -hmm. And she <clears throat> is now understanding. She has the tools to build her life anew now in a way that it's more beneficial for her. And now she's she's still learning how to be that new her. Mm -hmm. And when when she's completely healed. Mm -hmm. Everything will come to her. So it's nothing that she needs to chase after. No. <clears throat> Everything that will happen will happen. It will happen in its right timing. So for example, a career, mm -hmm. a place to live. Mm -hmm. She's very confused. Mm -hmm. What should she be doing? Mm -hmm. She has many talents. Mm -hmm. She can do many things. But why hasn't she been able to find a job? Everywhere she goes, the door is mm -hmm. closed. It's not the time yet. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not the time yet. She's now learning new things that will set her on her right path. Okay. She just needs to be patient. Well, this one is not very patient, is mm -hmm. she? No. <laughs> she's very restless mm -hmm. um, but she is learning patience as well mm -hmm. well today you took her to a place that was so calm yes she's very uh, uh, um, she's uh, on the edge mm -hmm. she needs to calm down more 
What would be the best way for her to calm down? She needs to be in the nature. Mm -hmm. She knows that. She feels that. And she's so drawn to outdoors. And mm -hmm. she connects with the trees and the grass and mm -hmm. the wind, the sun. And she needs to be around animals. Mm -hmm. So is that her meditation? Yes. Because she says she cannot meditate. <laughs> she doesn't have the patience. But if she's outdoors, she's calm, she's calm, and her mind stops mm -hmm. working, and we can get to her. Good. Mm -hmm. Is there something else she should be doing while she's out in nature mm -hmm. to perhaps connect her even more? She can touch trees mm -hmm. and, and plants and water is very good for her mm -hmm. she she she's so drawn to water and she doesn't know why and now she does she does because it's her home mm -hmm. and so in this life as a mermaid was that here on earth or somewhere else oh i hear venus venus mm -hmm. is that her home venus one of many. Mm -hmm. Why has she chosen this time, in this life form, to be incarnated on Earth at this time? Mm. Oh, there's so much to learn here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why is Earth such a, an exciting place to learn? It's the perfect playground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did she come to play with her emotions? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There is so much to experience and feel and learn and it's it's fun, it's a game. Mm -hmm. She's taking it too seriously. Why does she take things so seriously? She's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. She's always been very sensitive, always afraid of everything, mm -hmm. always cautious, careful and calculating things. <laughs> she doesn't realize you can't calculate everything in life. Hmm. What is she trying to calculate now that is impossible to calculate? She tries to be in control. Mm -hmm. But she can't. She needs to let go and allow things to happen. Mm -hmm. How is this control sabotaging her play here? It's not sabotaging because she learns from every experience. Ah, okay. But it could be easier, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so are you saying that if she stopped mm. trying to control everything and just mm. go with the flow, that things would be more fun, mm. easier? She needs to trust. Mm -hmm. She needs to trust. And she knows that. She knows that, but she just goes over her head again and she starts planning and controlling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it seems to me that she has been very guided as she's been traveling all over the world, mm -hmm. living in different places. Mm -hmm. Was she guided to all of these places? It's good oh. for her. She, these are different vibrational frequencies, mm -hmm. places that are activating things in her mm -hmm. she's a wanderer yeah she loves exploring she's always on the lookout mm -hmm. and it's something that is very important for her so one of her questions was where should she be going to next mm -hmm. What is the best place for her vibration now? She can go anywhere she wants. Mm -hmm. There's no limitations, mm -hmm. or no prepaved path. Mm -hmm. She decides herself. It's, She's it's, making it up herself? She chooses herself mm -hmm. what experiences she wants to have and what she wants to learn so it's up to her 
to pick a place. Mm -hmm. There is a value in everything. Well, at this time, it seems that she wants to be able to start channeling, mm -hmm. for example. She already is. She already is. <laughs> she is. So there's nothing in starting. She's doing it already. Uh, yes. How yes. can she use their channeling abilities to make these experiences mm -hmm. here on Earth even more fun? She just has to follow her intuition. Mm -hmm. She's always led. Uh, and she's, she's always connected. She knows that. Mm -hmm. She knows that. She, she doesn't doubt that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she questions, but she knows, she knows. Mm -hmm. But you know, this road mm -hmm. can be a lonely one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she wants to be able to connect with others. She wants to be able to find someone she could travel with. Mm -hmm. And she wants to connect with her galactic family, her mm -hmm. soul family on Earth. Mm -hmm. How can she do that? Mm -hmm. They are all waiting for her. They are. They are. She just needs to get over her grief mm -hmm. and start living her life like she wants with joy. Mm -hmm. And then it will be easier to hear the star family. Mm -hmm. And then she will begin to meet her soul family on earth as well. Mm -hmm. So during this time of grief, mm -hmm. the grief of separation, she's not allowing mm -hmm. that vibration to go out. She's blocking herself. Mm. We cannot reach her. It's like a wall. Mm -hmm. This sadness is like a wall. Where has she put this sadness? It's all around her. It's all around her. Yes. Has she created the sadness herself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you imagine if she's ready now to release the sadness, or is she wearing it as a protective barrier around her? She is using it as a protection, but mm. she doesn't realize it's mm. not helping her. Mm -hmm. She can't guard yourself. Can't guard yourself. No. What is the best way for her to feel relief instead of guarding herself with this darkness around her? She has to bring more light in. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you allow me to work with her today? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and begin to see around your body. And you know that the body has many different bodies. It has the physical body, the etheric body, the mental body. And I'd like for you to just visualize and see where this darkness is around. It's like a dark cloud around mm -hmm. Very good. Now this dark cloud, does it have anything inside of the cloud? Any interference? Take a look and see. Is this cloud her creation or is somebody else keeping it around her? Mm. Might be connected to something. Mm -hmm. So if you would, let's begin to find if there is a connection to something else keeping this cloud around. Begin to follow this cloud and see if you see anything corded to it, mm -hmm. anything connected to it. It seems to be connected to something. All right. I don't know what it leads to. So let's begin following that cord. Mm -hmm. I want you to see that cord in your mind and tell me how thick is this cord holding on this cloud? I think they are reptilian. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to go ahead and keep following it and see if you made an agreement with these reptilians. No. No. So you understand that you have free will mm -hmm. on this planet. Mm -hmm. What is it that the reptilians are getting by connecting you to them? They're 
feeding off. They're of feeding her. off. Of, okay. But it's because she has put herself down there. Mm -hmm. She is in that energy that makes her accessible. Mm -hmm. The lower energy vibration. So now she understands that this cloud that she's created is actually a feeding machine mm, yes. that's sucking things out of her. Yes. What is it that they're taking from her? It's her life force. Mm. That's why she always feels like she doesn't have enough energy. Ah, okay. So if you would, I'd like to speak with her. I'm going to count from one to three, and I'm going to go ahead and speak to Nicoletta. One, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Nicoletta, look, take a look and see these reptilians. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to make the decision. I cannot make it for you. Mm -hmm. If you want to continue to be food for the energy of this these reptilians. No. No. Did you give them permission? No. To do this? Okay. But by putting your energy down, mm. you opened up yourself yes. to allow them to yes. attach. Because when you lower the vibration, it automatically opens you up mm. to all of them. Mm. Now you know that you have free will. Mm. And that no one could take that from you unless you mm. agree to it. So would you like now to go ahead and tell the reptilians mm. what you think about what they're doing? Tell them face to face. I want you to let go. What do they say? Mm. I don't think they're convinced, are they? Mm. They don't care. Much. They don't care. So what you need to do is I need you to go ahead and begin bringing in that power that is yours. I want you to connect your heart with that very powerful source light. Mm. And I want you to begin visualizing that light coming into your heart and filling you up with light. Mm. And I want you to really make it powerful. Bring it all in. It's like when you open up the sink, open it all the way up. Mm so that all of this light flows in with full power. Mm. And once you have completely filled your body with this light, I want you to feel that power within you. Mm. And with that power, you are now going to speak with the reptilian from your power, mm. not from your shame or your grief or your shyness. I want you to go ahead and tell them to remove and disconnect now. You can now cut all your cords from me and remove that wall of sadness. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and you cut it. You cut it all the way around you. Mm -hmm. I'm using the light Very to disperse. Good. Mm -hmm. And tell me what they say now. Uh, there's no more darkness now. Mm -hmm. They're gone. Very good. You have the power. I do. Mm -hmm. So now I want you to shine your light even brighter. Begin to just send that light out as far as you can. I want you to see how big you actually are. Mm -hmm. Keep growing yourself. Mm. Keep seeing the power. I'm the universe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to hold back? No. Mm -hmm. mm. So now that you have this power, I want you to check in with those emotions and see if any of the sadness is there anymore. Take a look. Because if there is, there's some sort of holes in there. Take a look and see. Follow it. Where is that? Still might be a little in the heart. All right. So we're going to go into the heart and find out 
what is connected to that heart that is keeping you sad. Hmm. Go find it and tell me what it is. It's that love. Mm -hmm. She has to let go of that. Mm -hmm. Is it love she has to let go of or the need to be loved in a certain way? She just needs to accept that uh, it's important to experience love and you cannot guard yourself from mm -hmm. it because she's in a way now guarding herself. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to be hurt again. Mm -hmm. So would she allow me to take that pain that is keeping her from feeling her heart? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over that heart, and I want you to go ahead and begin to draw out any pain associated with love. There's no need to associate love and pain. Love is love. Love is accepting. Love is generous. Love is kind. Love should not be pain. Love is an experience. So give all that pain to me. Pull it all out and tell me when I have it all. It's done. Very good. Take that and send it to the universe for healing. Mm -hmm. And now in that space where that pain used to be, what would you like to put in that space instead? Mm -hmm. Golden light. Let's put golden light. Imagine that mm -hmm. light coming in and expanding because you see, that heart was broken. Mm -hmm. And they have a tradition in Japan where they take broken things like teacups and they mend them with gold mm -hmm. and allow this golden light now to mend all of those cracks in that heart. Mm -hmm. That heart that expanded so much and cracked and as that light fills it in, feel it reinforcing it and making it beautiful. Mm -hmm. So not only is this heart strong and beautiful, but it can endure and can give so much more now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to touch your forehead and just seal that gold in. Mm -hmm. Very good. How does that feel now? Feels good. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look and scan that body and see how that body looks now. Without this darkness, without the broken heart, without the pain, how does that body look? It's better now. It's better now. Mm. So now that she is better, and she is now not needing this darkness around her, Will she be able to be more abundant in love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now all the pathways are open. So that includes love and friendship. Everything has access to her now and mm -hmm. she has access to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when she travels, will mm -hmm. she be able to find those jobs that allow her to be who she truly is? Yes, mm. everything is queued up for her. Mm -hmm. It's just waiting for her. <laughs> Wonderful. So how much time does she have to take now before she starts off on her next adventure? You can't put the time limitation. Mm -hmm. it's, she just has to be patient and okay. allow it. Okay. So she needs to spend more time just being right now. Okay, good. Now, during this time that she's been off, she's gained a bit of weight. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what that weight is that is around her body? It's her fear. It's her fear. It's her fear. She holds a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. Was some of that fear all this darkness around her or something else? That's different. All right. So can we find out what this fear is that she's holding? It is something pulling her down, mm -hmm. weighing her down. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So let's find out where it is. Where does this fear manifest itself? Mm, it's in our stomach. It's in our stomach. Okay. Mm. So let's take a look inside the stomach. I'd like for you to focus in that stomach and see what color, what shape, what it feels like, this fear. It's How does it manifest itself? Like gooey, mm -hmm. liquid. Uh huh. Yuck. And is this gooey liquid something that she put in there, or mm. something outside of her? It's something from the outside. From the outside. All right. So we can speak with that gooey, liquidy stuff in her stomach. Mm. So I'd like for you to go ahead and focus on that. And I'm going to take my hand and just bring this energy up. Mm -hmm. And you could lend this energy, mm -hmm. your lips and your voice. And mm -hmm. you're there now. You there. What are you? Are you male or female energy? I'm not human. You're not human. Can you tell me what you are? I'm darkness. You're darkness. Well, we had talked about some darkness before. What is it that you do there in her stomach? Mm. I have made myself comfortable here. You have. Mm. Well, she's a very comfortable person to be with, isn't she? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Did she invite you in? Yes. She did. When did she invite you? When she was very little. What was going on in her life at that time mm. that she invited you? She was afraid. Mm -hmm. She was afraid of the world. Of the world? Yes. Mm -hmm. So did she say, come here, help me? Mm -hmm. She did not invite me, but mm -hmm. she was open mm -hmm. for me to come in. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you settled into her stomach, what have you been doing to her all this time? Oh, making her more afraid. Making mm. her more afraid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what does that do for you? It's fun. Ah. Mm -hmm. So actually, you're using her like a little amusement park. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> using her emotions to kind of laugh at her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when she gets afraid, mm -hmm. what does that do for you? Oh, I feel so good. You feel good. Yes. Mm. So it seems to me that what you're needing mm -hmm. is to feel good mm, yes and it seems to me that because of this little girl this little one had a lot of light didn't she mm, yes mm -hmm. but she was also very afraid yes so you were taking both the light mm -hmm. and expanding her darkness yes mm -hmm. wouldn't it be good to feel good all the time though of course of course did you know that you had your own light within you? No. You do. You see, everything came mm. from the light. Mm. Everything. Mm. Even the darkness came from the light. Because mm. there would be no darkness if there was no light. Mm. Right? There's only darkness where I am. Ah, because the light doesn't shine there. You haven't been exposed to it. Mm. Do you realize that when the light something blocks it, that's where there's darkness? Hmm. I didn't know that. Would you like to experience that light yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to find that little speck of light within you. You may not have noticed it because you were so dark. Hmm. Look for that little light. It may be tiny, tiny, tiny. It's very little. Mm -hmm. But since you're so powerful, you've been able to manipulate her all this time. I'd like for you to manipulate that little light within you and make it bigger. Oh, it's expanding. Uh huh. And as it's expanding, tell me how it feels. It feels warm. Mm -hmm. Does that feel nice? Yes. Make it even bigger. Let's see how big you can make that light. Have fun with it, too. And make it as big as me. Make it as big as you and see what happens to you. I feel light. Mm-hmm. Mm, Doesn't that feel good? Yes, it does. 
Is that what you were looking for? Yes, oh. I feel peace. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Nicoletta now that you understand that this is what you were looking for? I'm sorry I took from your power. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Nicoletta. Can you forgive this darkness for not knowing any better? I forgive it. Mm -hmm. It didn't know. It didn't know, right? So what I'd like for you to do is I'd like for you to use that power that you have and cut away any of the cords connecting you mm. to this entity. Mm. And I'd like to call in my team of angels. Mm. And these are the angels that always take these entities home. And I'd like to ask this entity, are you ready now to release and feel this light mm. all the time? Yes. All right. So I'd like to ask Archangel Michael to escort you directly into the light, back to the Creator, back home, and tell me when you get there. It's done now. Very good. May the light of the universe always be with you. Thank you. And now I'd like to call forth Archangel Raphael the Healer and have him put his beautiful green healing light within that area where that gooey, dark entity liquid was. Mm -hmm. And allow it to just spread that light and seal that whole area, illuminating it bright. And tell me how that feels. Mm. Feels good. Feels good, very good. And now you can direct your own light into that space. And I'd like to ask if that entity had anything to do with the painful periods, or is that something else? Mm. That's something else. All right, so let's take a look and see what that is. Mm. What's causing that? There's, there's pain there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pain. Let's find out what that pain is. Is this something that she created? Or something attached to her? Hmm. It's an attachment. It is. All right. Would you allow me to speak with this attachment? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over that area and bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. You can lend them your lips and your voice and you there. Oh. Are you male or female energy? I'm neither. You're neither. What are you? I'm pain. You're pain. So, pain, why is it that you're there? I want to make her suffer. You want to make her suffer. Mm -hmm. Did she invite you to make her suffer? She did. How old was she when she invited you? She was very young. Mm -hmm. How old was she? Maybe three or four years old. Three or four years old. What was happening when she was that age that she allowed the pain to mm -hmm. come in and make her suffer? She was afraid. Mm -hmm. What was she afraid of? Mm -hmm. She was afraid of the physical reality. Mm -hmm. Because she didn't understand, she was disconnected from the light. Mm -hmm. What made her disconnect from the light? Mm -hmm. The decision to come into this body when you don't remember mm -hmm. your connection. Mm -hmm. uh, she was afraid. So with this fear you attached to her? Yes. All right. Is it, and why is it that you're causing her painful periods? Mm. Are you just trying to remind her of something? No, I'm just enjoying myself. You're just enjoying yourself. What do you get from giving her pain? Mm. I get joy. You get joy. Mm. So it seems to me that you're the... You're looking for the same thing that the stomach one was looking for. Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. looking for that light also? Did you forget who you were? 
I didn't know about the lie. Oh. So if you've been eavesdropping and you heard mm. what happened to the other fellow in the stomach, mm. you understand now that there's a light within you. Mm. Let's look for that light. Mm. Because if you're just here to make yourself feel better and more powerful, that light will give you all of that feeling. Mm. Go ahead and find that light. I can see it. Mm -hmm. So I know that you have the power to make that light bigger. Mm. Yeah. Bright, broaden it out. Mm. Make it as big as you. You have the power. Yes. How does that feel? Mm. A little bit different, doesn't it? Yes. So instead of calling you pain, what could I call you now? Light. Light, very good. So light, you have no reason to be here. No. No. What would you like to tell Nicoletta? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Nicoletta, do you forgive this light for yes. not knowing any better? I forgive. All right. So I'd like for you to go ahead and with your forgiveness cut away the cords mm. that connect you. And now I'd like to call in the angels and escort this light back home mm -hmm. and tell me when you reach. Oh, they're gone now. Very good. So Archangel Raphael, go ahead and begin filling that space with a beautiful green light. And I'd like for you to focus on any of the organs that need special attention. What was causing the discomfort there? What organ? Was it the ovaries? It's both the ovaries mm -hmm. and the uterus. Very good. So as he fills the space with that beautiful green light, I'd like for you to begin zapping your ovaries and uterus with that beautiful golden light. Make it like a laser now. Mm -hmm and begin to shoot that love into the ovaries and uterus, mm. reminding those organs that you love them, mm. that they are worthy of your love, mm. that they no longer need to express themselves in pain, that they are loved, that they can let go and just be because every cell in your body has consciousness. And when we send our love, they respond. So send all of the organs in this reproductive system your love and acceptance of them. Knowing that being part of the earth is experiencing the pleasure of using these organs, of being able to produce life, the miracle that they are. Send them your appreciation. Almost like a caress now. Caressing with the light. What would you like to tell your organs? Oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. So now let's take a look at other parts of the body. Mm. And let's see what other parts of the body. It looks good. Now. It looks good. Mm. Now she's having issues with her eyes not being able to look at screens. Mm. She has stopped watching TV altogether. It's not good for her. Mm -hmm. it's, it's taking too much of her time and focus. Mm -hmm. She has to look away. Yes. And she needs to look within. Mm hmm And it's also programming. Good. So when she finally goes within, mm -hmm. will she be able to see a screen in the future without any discomfort? Her eyes are already getting better. All right. We've been working on that. Good. Good. Just so today, let's just give it another blast of light. What color would you like to put in her mm -hmm. eyes? to begin to reinforce them even more. 
light green. Mm-hmm. Let's put it in there. Allow that green to just permeate all of the cells, all the lining of the eyes, almost like a, a soothing ointment. Mm. Maybe even cool. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Yes. Very good. And she tells me her spine is not straight. Mm. What is causing that? She needs to stand up straight. Mm -hmm. Meaning, she needs to be in her own power. Mm -hmm. And she needs to open her heart and not be afraid. And today we've done quite a bit of that already, haven't we? Yes. So what would she like to tell her spine at this time? Mm. The spine will begin to straighten mm -hmm. and she's also doing some special exercises mm -hmm. and that's helping. Is she being guided to do these exercises? Yes. Mm -hmm. So as she gets into her own power, mm. she'll be able to stand tall. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. What's going on with the heat? She says she has a reaction. She's afraid of the heat. Mm -hmm. Mm. Where is that coming from? She's so afraid of the heat. Mm. Is this from this life or a different life? See why. Mm -hmm. Can't see why she's afraid. Let's find out. If you would allow me, I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, she's going to go deeper and deeper to sleep. And when we get to number one, we'll get to the origin, whether it's in this lifetime or another lifetime. The memory will come. Five going back through time and space to the memory, the origin of the heat. Four, three, remember, two, going deeper and deeper to sleep, and one, be there now. It was a wildfire. A wildfire. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where is this wildfire? The forest. Mm -hmm. And uh, she got caught in it. Mm -hmm. Couldn't escape. How is that affecting her life now? She fears the heat because uh -huh. it reminds her of that painful death. Can she forgive herself now for holding on to this fear? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to this entity that died in this fire. I'm going to count from one to three. Let's speak to her now. One two and three. Mm. You there. Mm. Can you tell me why you're holding on to this fear of fire? It hurts so much. It hurts so much. And when you left your body, where did you go? I went back to source. Went back to source. Now when you went back to source, it's natural for you to go to the healing place. Mm. Did you go to the healing place? I don't know. Mm. In the healing place, you go over everything that has happened. You understand it? Yes. Yeah. 
So I'd like for you to look at that lifetime now and tell me why you would have chosen that exit. What did you need to learn? It's experiencing pain. Experiencing pain. Yes. So by you experiencing pain, what has that done to all of your other incarnations? Mm. Are they also experiencing that pain? Not all. Mm -hmm. But this one here is. This one is. Why is this one feeling that pain? She's connected to this lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm. Does she need to be connected? No. No. What would you like to tell her? We can disconnect. Very good. So I'd like for you now to understand that this was an experience that you chose to experience. Mm. But you don't need to continue feeling that pain. Allow now this spirit to accept this experience and disconnect from the discomfort. And take a deep breath in now, Nicoletta. Disconnect from that life. I'd like for you to see yourself cutting the cord. You don't need that anymore. No. Allow that to just drift and float away from your life. Hmm. And now feel your body. And I'd like for you to see yourself before a fire. And tell me how you feel now. I feel happy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. And now I'd like to ask about the allergies. Why is she getting allergies? It's just different reactions she gets mm -hmm. to environment or food that it's not good for her. Mm -hmm. It's a sign that she shouldn't eat or be there. Okay. Does she need to have them so strong, a reaction? No. No. Can we tone it down? Yes. All right. So I'd like for you to communicate now with Nicoletta, and let's see how far down she would agree to tone down these allergies in order for her to understand when something is not good for her, mm. but not have such a strong reaction. She can now receive information intuitively. All right. Very good. And are any of these allergies based on diet? Mm, no. No. So how can she make improvements in her diet and fitness mm. to have better health? She is doing a lot already. Mm -hmm. She's finally listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She just needs to uh, stick to it. Yes. She could be a bit mm, lazy. Mm -hmm. And does that include the weight too? The weight will gradually... Yeah, she will lose it. Very good. With the time. Very good, very good. Mm. Now I know that you told her that she needs to stay put for a while before finding out what she's going to be doing in the future. Mm. Is there anything that you need to tell her? Just follow your intuition. We're always communicating with you. Mm -hmm. And you know. Just trust your instincts and Everything will sort itself out. Mm -hmm. And I know you brought her here f from such a long way mm -hmm. to be in this session. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask, who are the guides who have brought her here? Hmm. She works with many. Mm -hmm. do, do any of them stand out? Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. But they change because her wants and desires change. So 
whenever she has a new mission, mm -hmm. so to speak, in mind, mm -hmm. the right guide comes at the right time. Good. Mm -hmm. So each one comes depending on what she needs at the yes. time? Yes. So who is the guide working with her primarily right now? Archangel Michael. Very good. Very good. Does Michael have a message for her directly? Mm. She was so loved. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is there any other message that you would like to give her today? You are doing well. And um, everything is happening for your highest good. allow and enjoy very good mm -hmm. thank you very much are we complete we are complete thank you very much wide awake completely alert mm -hmm. feeling wonderful all over <laughs> welcome back <laughs> hello how do you feel <laughs> i feel good yeah Feel more relaxed than at the start. Now mm -hmm. I'm relaxed. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. Did you expect it to be like this? Kind of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit. You got what you needed. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we all get what we need, right? You all get exactly what yeah. you need. Yeah. How's your stomach feel? It feels good. Mm -hmm. And all of your, your organs, they feel good. When you pull. When mm -hmm. you put your hand here and my heart skipped a beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I felt it. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. It's real energy there. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Feel good. Yeah. So is this something you want to share? If it's of help to anyone. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, if it's going to help someone with something. Yeah. It's helped you. That's how you got here. Yeah, exactly. We're here, and uh, right now we are in central London. And Nicoletta, where did you come from? I flew all the way from Bulgaria. That's pretty far. Yes, it's like yes. 10 hours, door to door. That's amazing. Yeah, but it was worth it. So, what did you want to get out of the session? I wanted um, a confirmation mm -hmm. of what I already knew. Yeah. Um, and also assistance. Yeah, a mm -hmm. bit of guidance. And and after now experiencing this, mm. how do you feel? It's clearer, mm -hmm. and it confirms a lot of what I already knew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because your higher self is you, so you you are receiving this information. So mm. most of the time, people are not surprised because no. they already had it inside. Yeah, they just didn't believe it. Yes, right. Yes. So was the session quick for you? How, how long did you feel that the session was? About an hour? Mm, it's about an hour and a half. Oh, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't feel like that. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. It didn't feel like that. Yeah. That's how much it was. Wow. So what, did anything surprise you? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, the mermaid. <laughs> the mermaid. That was beautiful, wasn't it? Yes, because I love water. I mm. love water. And I've had a lot of dreams with water yes and you were blue yes yeah crystal kind of see-through blue it was beautiful nice yeah nice yeah. so that was surprising that was i did not expect that mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. yeah yeah it was good yeah good. so do you recommend this to other people absolutely yeah you should do that at least once in a lifetime <laughs> definitely especially with alba yeah it was good absolutely so if you would like a session all you have to do is sign up for my newsletter. It's on my website. And about once a month, I put out a newsletter telling you where I'm going to be around the world. And as soon as that newsletter comes out, you must click on it immediately because those sessions go within minutes. Okay. So if you're meant to be here, you will be here. Just like exactly you, you, you saw it and you exactly. You I've, got been, the message. I've been wanting to see you for a year. And I got the appointment. Yeah. Exactly when I needed it. 
and you're not going to get it before mm -hmm. it, you, you need it. So uh, don't give up. Just keep trying. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you dream of mermaids too. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have that hug. Mm, thank you.